So after you have Christy, then you get this diagnosis. Yes. What what happens after that, knowing that there, it's the money in the bank that's going to continually deplete? Yeah, so just sort of adjusting. I mean, and some things I gave up really well. Uh, vacuuming, I, <laughs> no problems. Unloading the dishwasher, I was like, if I, if I can't, I can't, you know? I can't do it. I can't do it, you know? Do it for me. Yeah, so, I mean, I was a really uh, a trooper with those things. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, yeah. there was other things that were harder. And just sort of processing all of that and um, thinking I was doing it with my husband, who was kind and great through that. But then he came home really six years almost exactly after the diagnosis and told me he was leaving for someone else. And so, so he was having an affair again with someone yes, else? Yes, yes, yes. And so, and I had no idea. So let me, let me jump in. Did you have any idea that he wasn't with you and for you? No, no. So he had taken a job um, where he was traveling a lot. And his company was um, headquartered in another state. He had helped start the company. So he was traveling, not a ton, but enough that it, it, and this person was where he was. So I didn't know. And just um, was stunned, actually. Because you think when you go through something hard with someone, and I've got post polio, like, of of course he he wouldn't do that. And he is a believer. We're actually still friends. But that rocked my world like none of these other things did in terms of this was so personal this was about me this was betrayal after I had trusted him this was my kids like this was going to shatter their world too and it did like our lives completely fell apart like I was teaching women's bible study you know there's this sense of shame like people are probably wondering like well, wow, she's talking to us about marriage, and her marriage was a disaster. So there's a lot of shame in even being at church. Church discipline for my um, ex-husband, which I'm very thankful for, but it was very public. So my kids just felt a lot of shame of their dad did this. Everybody knew about it. I was homeschooling the girls. Um, and so they were very angry. They were adolescents. And I just remember thinking, God, how how could you do this to me? Like, I can barely drive some days because I'm so tired. My arms don't work. I have two daughters, um, 10 and 13. They don't drive. They won't be driving for a while. We have a life. Who's going to drive them? Who's going to cook? Who's going to do the laundry? Who? How? Mm-hmm. Like, I could not even imagine at times, how am I going to live? Yeah. And I remember screaming in my bed, top of my lungs, God, why do you hate me? And I said that when um, my ex-husband told me kind of the details about it with our pastor and his wife. So he was he knew I'd need somebody. So we're at our pastor's house and his wife, and we're sitting there, and um, I found out he was actually living with her in this other city. And I thought it had just been like a couple of, t- you know, one-night stand kind of thing. So we're in their house, and I find out that it is like they've been together a long time, and my marriage is completely over. Right. He's detailing this in front of the pastor. Yes, and I remember I just got up to throw up, and I just screamed in the whole house, like, God, why do you hate me? And it was it was the lowest I have ever been, just feeling like there's no way out. Like, how am I going to get up and talk to these girls about life, about God, about faithfulness, about anything and days when I felt like I couldn't even get out of bed, and I'm trying to homeschool these girls. And um, they were so angry. They both so angry at God. Um, one said, when I just said, you know, we've got to p- just pray about this, she got up, threw a Kleenex box at me, and said, I want nothing to do with your God. And, you know, those words are hard. Yeah, she had just been baptized in our church, made a profession of faith a few months before her dad left. And just to have her say that was just like everything I've spent my life on is gone.